They so, probably the same family, but so, they're two different listen, breeds. But listen, but listen, animal, nigga. Like, fuck. Humans are different breeds. So it don't matter what you say. So, we uh, all uh, uh, a on mouse and a, and a rat are, are not two different things? No. Because once one go outside, he's something else. Then once one come inside, he's something else. So if a rat gets into your house, he automatically changes into a mouse. Yes. That it, that's not how it works. He's just a big ass mouse. Now I've had a friend. He's a big ass no, mouse. No, no. Fuck you that. You know the wildest. This was one of the wildest experiences in life. So I had this friend back up on 11th Street and shit. Somehow, some way, a rat chewed through a little hole in their basement. It ain't somehow, some way. Well, he them, them niggas be. That's creative. what the fuck they do. He chewed <laughs> into that muff, bro. When I say that motherfucker was like a baby cat running around the house, bro. They had to put cardboards up because was like I can't even sleep in my own house. Cardboard? Like, what the fuck is that? They was trying to trap it. Nigga, they chewed through the cardboard. Nigga, they chewed through your house. Man. What the fuck you think a cardboard gonna do? Nigga logic in the moment. Yeah, That's what they clearly, did. You know what I'm saying? Clearly. But that motherfucker didn't change no mouse. That motherfucker was in there for like three days. Big as fuck. He didn't change shit, bro. A rat getting into your house doesn't make it a mouse. A yes. mouse and a rat are two different things. Nah, same. So as I was saying. There are again, literally different breeds of rats. What are you talking about? I watched a documentary on Netflix about that. Y'all should yeah, check it out. Rats. Yeah, that's I a wicked that. ass documentary right I there. Y'all. They are smart as shit. Hey, bro, I ain't gonna lie. When they was in Vietnam and they was drowning a bag of rats, I almost cried, bro. <laughs> I, I no more like, carry out. No I more carry out. Nah, fuck <laughs> that. It wasn't even. I was like, damn, y'all, y'all got rid of these niggas like that, dog. Y'all sitting here drowning them in a bucket of water, like. Oh, you felt bad for the rats. I felt bad for the rats. I, I felt was, bad for the rats. I was amazed that they have restaurants based. I mean, oh, yeah, I shouldn't they, be amazed because that happens, but they have a whole restaurant based on that. You yeah. know. Nigga, look where they at. What the fuck. You ain't seen no motherfucking. Cows and pigs out there, motherfucker. They nutrition was the rats. <laughs> Shit. Vietnam has cows and pigs. And yeah, but you ain't seen it in that documentary. That's, That's because they still uh, fucked up from that Agent Orange. They was eating that rat. <laughs> <laughs> like, like motherfucking uh, uh, Sylvester Stallone and uh, Demolition, Demolition Man. I don't think I've ever seen that. Why you look at me like that? Alright, so Demolition um, Man literally came out before I was born. Okay. So, um I'm, so, I'm gonna check it out. Okay, look, cool. How about so, can, I, can I explain? Can I explain? So, so you know, if for y'all who don't see who never seen it, it was pretty much LA in the future after a giant earthquake. They renamed it, rebranded it, made it more futuristic, blah blah blah. So you had the you know, the the people who wanted to follow the law who live on top, but then the people who didn't want to Follow the law. They lived in the in the um sewage and shit. So one day they went. So Sylvester Stallone was a cop. He went down there to go find the guy who you know was running the the outsiders. So you know he went, got him a beer, and got him a got him a hamburger. So his partner was like, so he asked, he said, "You want a bite?" And she was like, "No." He was like, "Oh, cool, more for me." And she's like, "You see any cows down here?" So he asked the lady who cooked it, he said, what is this? She said, Ratta. He said, Ratta? <laughs> oh, well, this is the best damn rat burger I've ever had. Like, yeah, I know. <laughs> but yeah, but oh, uh, yeah. Uh, apparently, rat is a good source of protein. <laughs> I don't think I'm going to be trying that anytime soon. Yeah, I'm not soon. trying it either. But, uh, <laughs> I ain't curious to try that uh, cuisine. I said I'm a cultural nigga, but I ain't trying to go do it that far. I said he, he, he ain't deep in the culture. Not <laughs> that deep. Not that deep. Some things I'm going to stay away from at the wet market. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I think, I think if I was going to China, I think I would try a lot of shit. I bet I, you would. It's, it's, I don't know. I wouldn't try a dog, and I wouldn't try a bat. No monkey. Anything else could be overseas. So you eat a cat? Yeah, I ain't gonna try that either. Okay, I, uh, okay, I ain't trying no house pets unless you're a fish. Um, <laughs> I don't know. I I probably eat your your pet um parakeet. I probably eat him. But um, yeah, monkey, cat, dog, and bat. Why no monkey go. or bat? I understand the cat and dog, but why no uh monkey and bat? Well, cause bat has a lot of fucking diseases. You know, Ebola came from them. They have Corona. They have all types of shit. And I don't think no cooking is going to eliminate all of that. So, yeah, I'm going to stay away from that. But mm-hmm. if they if they was clean, I would try it. 
But I heard on some dirty motherfuckers. Well, if you if you caught your organic bat. An organic bat, he might grass go down. Fed. He, grass fed, he, he definitely <laughs> might go down. He definitely going it's down. It's going down. It's going down. So monkeys? Monkeys because the same thing. Ebola and, and I mean, it's a fucking monkey. Like, I don't know. They are super geniuses. Yeah, but they don't look that appealing to eat. Do you also understand they feel like in science now they're going through a new uh, Stone Age for the monkeys? Like, oh, yeah. They're they, start, they starting to become human. Yeah, they're starting to build their own uh, tools and shit again. Mm-hmm. Like, that's amazing. Uh, you mm-hmm. know, be around to see something grow like that in science. Yeah. It's your boy, DJ the Park Boy, and I'm here with a special product for you. I got some Delta 8 weed from JK Distro, and I'm saying it's amazing. It's clean, smokable, and the best part is they deliver it right to your door. Because of the 2018 Farm Bill, it's now legal for them to have Delta 8 weed sent through the mail. That's right. And if you use promo code FLOSS1, you can get some clean, smokable weed sent to your door direct. You have options. You go right there to jkdistro.com. You look at all the strands they have, which is a lot. You can even get you some edibles. You can get you some wine. Anything in between you can think of. You put in promo code FLOSS1, we're going to save you 20%. So go ahead, hop on that now. Make sure it's in the description.